Hello everyone. In today's video, I shall discuss the roles of a speaker and a listener in making oral communication more effective. The topics that I shall cover in this video are challenges faced by the speaker and the listener. Both the speaker and the listener face certain challenges, but to improve the efficacy of communication, they should be able to foresee the challenges and handle them efficiently. Next topic that I shall share is tips to overcome the challenges. Next, seven C's of communication. And the last one, suggestions for both the speaker and the listener to improve their communication skills. Now, let us see the challenges faced by a speaker. Number one, lack of confidence. Number two, noise in the environment or in the mind. Number three, fear or dread of the encounter. And number four, a shaky purpose. That means the speaker does not have a clear goal. Now, as an effective communication communicator or as an effective speaker, how can you overcome these challenges? Number one, for lack of confidence, the only cure is practice. Number two, to deal with environmental noise, the speaker needs to modify his way of expression continuously. And for overcoming psychological noise, the speaker must learn to prioritize things and improve his focus. Number three, to overcome fear or dread of the encounter, the speaker must interact with more and more people. And remember that he only has to convey his thoughts clearly. Number four. four, to overcome the last challenge, the speaker must have a clearly defined goal and he must remember that effective communication is possible only when he has a fixed goal or clear purpose. Otherwise, the communication will turn into a kind of gibberish. So, after overcoming the initial challenges, you need to know how to improve your communicative skills. You need to keep in mind the seven C's of communication to ensure effective communication. These seven C's of communication were provided by Professor Scott M. Cutlip and Allen H. Center in their book, Effective Public Relations. So, the seven C's of communication are cl clear, complete, concise, concrete, coherent, correct, and courteous. Now, I am giving you a few more suggestions to become an effective speaker. Number one, there should be clarity in speech. Number two, use simple sentences and simple vocabulary best suited to the listener. Number three, put the listener at ease and be considerate. Number four, be focused and attentive while speaking. That means you need to ensure that you are truly present in the conversation. If you feel distracted, reschedule your communication for a time when you can concentrate. Next, maintain good eye contact, but do not indulge yourself in such nonverbal cues as touching. Next, emphasize 
the important points through repetition so that you can drive home the message you want to convey but do not repeat too many times as that will cause the listener to lose interest next in case of silence or pause from your listener ask if he has any doubt or he needs any clarification and immediately clarify the doubts to avoid confusion the last one you can use both active listening and passive listening skills to facilitate your listener to speak or share his thoughts with ease now what is active listening in active listening you need to listen attentively to a speaker understand what he is saying respond and reflect on what is being said and retain the information for later this keep both the communicators engaged actively in the conversation now what is passive listening in passive listening you listen to the speaker without reacting thereby allowing the speaker to speak without any kind of interruption however here reaction does not refer to reaction in terms of words alone but also in terms of various gestures eye movement and broadly speaking body language but this kind of listening has a drawback also here sometimes the listener is not actually paying attention to what is being said however as an effective communicator you need to practice both active and passive listening so that your listener also gets a chance to speak without the fear of being judged now let us look at the challenges faced by listener number 1 listeners may not have effective communication skills like active listening and passive listening number 2 unfamiliarity of the listener with the speech style language accent or pronunciation of the speaker number 3 apprehension or fear about being able to correctly understand the message and follow any directive number 4 focusing on the personal feelings of the speaker rather than on the speech or message delivered now so what can be done to overcome these challenges number 1 as a listener you should practice active and passive listening skills i have already provided the definitions of active and passive li- listening skills so follow those instructions okay now second listen to various podcasts or audio lectures delivered by renowned public speakers to get familiar with different speech styles language accent or pronunciation here i would suggest you to listen to only uh channels like bbc news those are indeed helpful but if you don't find any kind of interest in listening to news channels then listen to whatever you find to be interesting but do listen to different kinds of podcast or audio lectures because that is going to help you in the long run next when you will practice listening to more podcasts or audio lectures or renowned speakers you will develop your confidence to understand any kind of message and follow any directive number 4 when you will improve your listening skills thus then it will be easier for you to focus on the message 
rather than on the speaker's personal feelings. So this is how you can overcome your challenges as a listener. Now, here are some tips for you to become an effective listener. Number one, respect the speaker by silencing your phone. Number two, maintain good eye contact, but it should not be embarrassing. You should not stare unblinkingly at the speaker. Number three, occasionally react through body language like fitting gestures, nodding, facial expression, relevant to the topic, etc. To show that you are engaged and interested. Number four, wait for the right time to make a quick comment or add on statement to show that you are fully present in the conversation. Number five, be open to new ideas. Do not jump to your own conclusions or form your opinion without listening to the complete message. And the last one, ask for clarification from the speaker if there is any doubt. So, if you develop your communication skills thus, then very soon you will become an effective communicator. These soft skills are essential for one successful living in every walk of life. And always remember the words of Theodore Roosevelt. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Hope you have found this video useful. If so, kindly like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more such videos. Students and viewers, kindly write in the comment section if you want me to make any video on a particular topic. See you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you again.